Okay, now I have attached the B post with a couple of sheet metal screws and I've also attached the rocker panel in here with a few sheet metal screws going through to the sill. And I did that before welding the B post and before welding in the rocker panel. The sill has been welded to the car. In the back here, it's the welds on the outside are not quite as visible, but it, the weld line is right here. It goes underneath this bracket. That's all been butt welded. And it also continues to the front over here and behind the B post, which is currently blocking our view of that. Now, I assembled this all together before welding any of it because I wanted to check the fit of the door. And uh, I have also, I also put a, a door latch in here, which I've now removed because I also had in here the, the cleaned up face plate in here because the door latch goes through the face plate and then into these holes. Light's not too good right now. There, goes into those holes, but the face plate also has holes and it goes over that. So I had the face plate on there. I attached the door latch. I fit the door and made sure the door was closing. I also took the rear fender, mounted it, and made sure that the grooves in the rear fender, come, fender sits over here and inside the, the shut face or the, the face plate comes over the fender edge. There's cutouts in the front fender edge for the rubber bumpers and also for these screws. And I made sure that those line up, especially these things, these uh, cutouts for the two rubber bumpers. That stuff all lined up, so I'm happy with the, the way the fender fits. The bottom of it even lines up with the fender holes in the bottom of the sill, although there, that part of the fender has been repaired and one of the holes does not actually reach. And I'm probably going to try to repair that later on that fender. Although it looks like I, on this side I could use it as is. Now on the bottom I also put um, a couple of screws through at the bottom of the rocker panel to the uh, flange area that was left with great care uh, to match up with the bottom flange of the rocker panel. The rocker panel had to be bent a little to get it to conform to uh, the correct shape and one of the alignments was to make sure that when it was bent and when the bottom is attached that the door gap along the bottom is even. As you can see that's quite even. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to take the door off and I'm going to take the rocker panel out. I know, I know how to light, locate it because it's got screw holes with screws going in. And plus I can check the alignment again before I weld it. The rocker panel has to come off so that I can finish welding the uh, B post on. And then next will be the rocker panel welding. So we're getting pretty close to having this side sill finished. On the left side we have now welded in the B post. I fit the face plate and the latch because I was fitting the door to make sure that the gaps are correct. Down here we, you can see that where the um, inside of the inside flange of the rocker panel was welded to the inner sill plate that's visible. Uh, underneath it is the inner sill box section which is now hidden inside the uh, rocker panel except over there you see it continuing uh, on the left side over here and it goes underneath. And we've welded this all along here and after I weld, welded that and before I did the final welding on the bottom, we fit the door, we checked the gap along the bottom of the door, given the fact that there's still some adjustment that you can make with the hinges and where the angle of the door sits, but we wanted to, to close onto the latch, which we did. Uh, then we secured it um, and welded the bottom. This is a repair to the left front tow board on the inside of the cockpit. And just like I had on the other side of the car, over here, from here down, was rotted here. So I made a new piece. I had a bit of erosion on the old steel above where the new, this is the new sill already welded to that. 
and I had some uh, holes and erosion that also needed to be repaired. So I made the flange on this repair piece for the tow board extra large, like about an inch, inch and a quarter wide. And that gives me a big area where I can weld it to the new sill and the old sill. I'm using uh, sheet metal screws here to hold it all in place. It's already up tightly against this uh, replacement uh, body to frame mount which gets welded also into the new sill area and you can see I've already got holes in there ready to go and holes along this flange. So I'm going to weld up those holes with my spot weld, my Eastwood spot weld nozzle uh, going into, most of it's going into new steel down here and then after that's in there pretty good I'm going to pull these screws out one at a time and weld up through those screw holes. Uh, with probably a, a lower setting uh, on the on the welder, not as much heat required. The hole's a little smaller, so uh, that's how I'm going to repair that. And I made a flange up here on this replacement piece, which goes under, so I've got a nice smooth surface up here. And so when I get done, I'm going to also lap weld along this seam and then grind it down. And just like the other side, it'll be pretty much invisible. It's of course covered by carpet over here and it's covered by interior panels over here so you actually don't see this area except perhaps for this bracket which will be somewhat exposed. I think, believe they have chrome pieces that can go over them. But um, that's going to look like all new steel where it's needed and uh, we're going to weld that up next. Okay so here is the front tow board uh, welded and repaired with uh, a couple of spots were in here and then I welded across this flange and ground it down. Spots in here, spots on the bottom of this going in here and spots going in here. Also, you'll be able to see there's the spots from using the Eastwood uh, spot welder nozzle uh, welding the body to frame mount into the side of the new part of the sill. Here's the finished sill with rocker panel all welded in place and here is the sill ceiling plate. That was the last piece welded in this way on top of rubber all sealing the cockpit and I've fitted the door and it closes. So I'm quite happy with that. A little bit of a wobble here that needs to be adjusted. And it opens just like that. And closes. Okay, so here is an inside view of the finished left-hand side sill. Here is the tow board that was repaired in the lower half with flanges inside. Here's the repaired body to frame mount. That's the inner sill, the sill ceiling plate we're looking at. I've also added the standard mounts for uh, seat belts over here, welded to the frame. Here's another view of the left side sill. Here's the way the rocker panel the inner sill, which is this piece here, and the inner sill plate make a three-way sandwich over here in the door opening. And if you spot weld them across like this, instead of along the edge, then you retain a nice straight edge over here, which is what we did. You can also see here that I have restored the left side splash plate and installed it. Also the rear left side splash plate, that one required a repair in the bottom, which I did came out very nice. Door closes. By the way, I've taken the car off the uh, jack stands, put it down on these dollies. So, a uh, lot closer to the weight it will see and the orientation it will see when it's in the finished position. And as you can see, the door still closes. Here's the left side, here's the 
where the inner sill extends all the way up to the front of the wheel opening. There you can see my weld line where I welded the inner sill to the side of the car. There's a little triangular clip for the sill that goes up under here. That's been welded in place right up here. It's kind of a support brace. You can see it in some pictures uh, when the car is, when a body of a car is removed from the frame and you're seeing an inside cockpit shot. You can usually see this triangular brace over here up on that side. Everything's been uh, sealed underneath, seam sealed. It gets very hard to reach up in there. You have to use like a uh, or you can spray, but to get seam sealer paint, you use a, I use a paintbrush on a long stick. Tape to a long stick to get up there and to get to hard to reach places. You can see the door gap here. Pretty happy with that. So that's the end of the sill repair. Now we're going to move on to the next project, which is the front duct panel repair.